I've been lost in your eyes all afternoon. The more I drift, the closer I get to you. She's a ghost, and the truth is impossible. But I love her lies. You make sure I don't find somebody new. It's the way you move. It's the way you move. Ooh, ooh. I knew I'd stay with you after just one touch. The way you move has got me stuck. into the ballpark happy to have you with us the show has an al east matchup it's the boston red sox and the toronto blue jays Just about set to go. And on the hill, the lefty, you say Kikuchi. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today. But when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you need it, a man on third, less than two outs, situations where, yeah, maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy, but just knowing you have the swing and miss stuff in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. That smash towards center. Makes the grab on the run. One down. As we check out the lineup for the Boston Red Sox. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click. And unfortunately, what happens is guys press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand that they're going to come out of this. Alex Verdugo, the next to hit, takes ball one. That's a slider for a strike. Verdugo, a former second-round pick by the Dodgers back in 2014. And, Chris, 
I think one of the things that people always focus on with him, he was the centerpiece to that Mookie Betts trade between the Dodgers and the Red Sox. Springer there makes the catch, and there's two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Two outs, base is empty. Justin Turner digs in now. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Guerrero makes the grab and that'll end the inning. End of a half inning of play. And now the Blue Jays will get their initial shot. No score. Back now in Toronto. And today's starting pitcher, Cutter Crawford. Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club. And what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him. And it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point. Maybe it's the motion. But just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. George Springer in the box now. No balls and a strike. The pitch. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Pitch is in the dirt. One and two to count. The next pitch misses, and it's two and two. And that's outside. Next offering is fouled back. That's hard hit on the line. Duvall makes the play, and there's one down. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays and a guy having a big year for him, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And he's leading him in runs batted in this season, which tells me this guy is able to slow things down when it seems like there's a little bit of pressure, and he's looking at it as an opportunity to do damage. You know, a lot of guys, they see runners on base, and they get big, they feel like, all this pressure, I've got to get these runs in, but somehow he seems to settle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Not in time. He's safe. One down. Up to the plate is Brandon Belch. They say it went. Brandon Belch, who grew up in Texas, played his college ball at the University of Texas, and then went on to win World Series with the Giants in 2012 and 2014. They called him the captain for a couple of years. Yeah, and well, I remember Bruce Bochy talking about oh, Brandon Belt when he was just coming up to the big leagues and said he was a left-handed Buster Posey. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. No movement. Now a ball and two strikes. Bichette, the base runner at first with one out. On the ground, could be two. Throw, and it gets away. And he's going to make it up to second base, as that's a two-base error. Second base would definitely have some pretty tough throws to make when they're trying to feed the shortstop at second for a double play turn because of the angles and difficult footwork. So it's always a difficult play, but one that needs to be made. When your pitcher gets you that ground ball that can be a double play, it's a killer when you can't get at least one out of it. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. There's the strike.
And the righty deals. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. Swung on, belted. Deep left field. That one on its way. Gone. Matt Chapman hits one out. His 12th of the season, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's 3 0. Singy, that's his 150th career home run. Man, Boog, 150 trips around the bases. That's a lot. Congrats to him. I tell you what, that's a lot of trotting. So good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. I gotta go. And now it's Dalton Varsho. In there for strike one. And a pitch. Nope. Off the mark ball there. One. one ball, one strike. Bounce to the left side. Toss to Turner, and that is the third out of the inning. Three run shot for the Jays this inning. It's now 3 0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here at Rogers Center, second inning set to go. Here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Rafael Devers. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. A 3-0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ball game. Swing, and this one's bounced on the ground. Whips it to first. And quickly one away in the second. Batting fifth, the center fielder, Adam Duvall. Adam Duvall at the plate. Singy, Adam Duvall's a guy that's had a nice career, but 2021, the year that was kind of the signature year in his resume. Just nope, off the ball. outside part of the plate. Well, well, most importantly, a World Series champion with the Atlanta Braves, first inning World Series Grand Slam the swing he will never forget now one and one Duvall split that season between Miami and Atlanta in 21 ended up winning the gold glove and he led the National League and runs batted in the one one swing and a foul straight back Hit in the air, right field. Springer drifts towards it. Makes the catch for the out. Batting fifth, the left fielder, number seven. Masataka, Masataka Yoshida will hit next. Yoshida. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. And first offering is fouled off. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. The 0-1. 
This one smoked out to left. Varsho makes the grab, and the inning is over. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They trail in this one, three nothing. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the second. Now it's chance in the head. The wind of the pitch. One zero. That one missed. Well, no On the time. mound, he's got to remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. Here we go, Danny. 2-0. Ball that one is upstairs. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. Yeah. And a 3-0 finds his own. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. Three one is on the way. And that one fouled off. And down on strikes he goes. And now one away. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Ball one, no strikes. And the right-hander deals. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. And it is two and one. And there's the strike. Two balls, two strikes. And now it's three and two. And there's ball four. Close pitch there, but you've got to forget about that call if you're out on the mound. You can't let it affect you going forward. You've got to get out of the inning first, and then if you want to be frustrated, take it out in the dugout. And that one sliced foul. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. Righty delivers. Aye. And that's through there for a strike. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone, Boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. And that one got a piece of him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. That really wasn't a bad pitch at all. But hitters these days just aren't afraid to get up on top of the plate. Back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. Here's George Springer. Well, that's it. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Two on, one out. That clips the corner. 
Chris, one of the things that's really cool about George Springer's story is what he has overcome. As a kid, he had a lot of anxiety, and he had a stutter. And he's a guy now that speaks publicly and does so marvelously and is a great spokesperson for young people who struggle with stutter. Yeah, the Stuttering Association for the Young, SAY is the acronym, and George Springer doing a great job representing that organization. Ground ball to first, could be two. Turner over to second, return throw to first, got him, double play, and that'll do it. Nothing across on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Blue Jays three and the Red Sox nothing. Welcome back. Here's Kike Hernandez. Sing, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays. In the air, right side, and that is Springer. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. Batting eight. The second. Here's base. Christian Arroyo. Christian Arroyo. Kikuchi, a six foot lefty, 210 pounds, and he was born in Japan. That misses the zone. One and oh. Japan has made a major impact on Major League Baseball over these last few decades. We've seen players completely change the game. And the next pitch is way outside. And that one fouled off. One down, base is empty. And yeah, a 2 1 hammered, but foul. High fly ball out towards left field. Varsho moving back for it. It bangs off the wall. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Just about got it out of here down the line to left. So I'm sure he wishes he could have put a little more behind it, but he's got to feel good about that missile off the wall. Caleb Hamilton getting ready to hit. Fought off foul. Arroyo over at second, one down. Pitch misses there, and it's a ball and a strike. And downstairs. Three. Goes down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Next to hit, Rob Ref Snyder. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate, but no advance. That's ball one. That one fouled off. Runner leads away at second. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Varsho after it. 
and puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. And the Red Sox leave one. They trail it here, three nothing. Back here at the ballpark, set Leading for the bottom of the third. Bo Bichette up to the job. dish. When he steps into the batter's box, the comfort level looks so high. It doesn't matter what kind of delivery that pitcher has, what kind of velocity, what kind of secondary stuff. Oh. And he dodges that fastball. Bo Bichette, second round pick, 2016, and a kid who comes from pretty good baseball family. His dad, Dante, played for California, Milwaukee, Colorado, Cincinnati, and Boston over 14 big league seasons, and Dante could swing it. Yeah, and you just get the sense in watching Bo that this guy, all he wants to do is win. A gamer goes hard and wants to lead that ball club to a championship. And there's one down. Now batting, the designated hitter, Brandon, Brandon Bell, next up for the Blue Jays. Bowl for one, he hit into a fielder's choice his first time. Bell hitting third in the lineup, and he's usually a first baseman, but today he's the designated hitter. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Some people say that first baseman kind of have the day off regularly because they don't run around a whole lot. But when you think about it, they are involved in just about every single play, and there's a lot of stress that gets put on their legs. So a well-deserved day at the DH spot for him. Man, that's such a tough call for the umpire in real time, especially since those lines are not made of chalk the way they used to be. You got it right, though. Going to now. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. Well, I think now that's a case of overthinking right there. We got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. Guerrero in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. Next offering is in for a strike. The 1-1. One, one. All right, grounder into the outfield for a knock. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Now Matt Chapman at the plate. He had a big three-run homer in his first trip. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Chapman getting to start at third, 29 years old, and he's a former gold glover in the American League. And a 1 0. And that's in for a strike. Guerrero off of first with two away. Next pitch misses, two and one. Two balls, one strike. Right hander kicks deals. That's a little bit low. Fouls one away and now three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Three two now. So now two on and two outs. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. First and second, two down. Now the left fielder, Dalton Varsho.
Ball. Ball one, no strikes. Boston's bullpen with some activity. Caleb Ort appears to be getting ready, and I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Swing and a miss. One ball. And it's two one and two. Well, this is a higher leverage spot, and I love the way that he's turned things around. He's got two outs now ahead in this count, and he can pretty much dictate what's going to happen next in terms of the pitch sequence. Kicks and fires. And oh. the one two misses to even the count. First and second, two down. In the air, right center field. This is demolished. Way back and gone. His 13th home run of the season, and they boost their lead. It's 6 0. Pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, but it paid. And yeah, now Alex Cora is out of the dugout, and he will make a move for the bullpen. Cutter Crawford will depart, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. So the Red Sox bring on a new pitcher, Caleb Ort. Now, I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Danny Jansen to hit here. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Check swing, no appeal. Ball one. Count one and zero. Oh. pitch out in front and foul to the left side next pitch is outside and that's outside The 3 1 to the left side, but it is well foul. And that one hammered Duval going back on this one, still going back. And that one is off the top of the wall. And that's a two out double. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. Stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. Strike one. One. Rudder at second, two down. Next Whoa, pitch is outside. Down. And the count even one and one. Squirts away a little bit, and the runner holds. Right. 
Fouls one off. Two and two. Here comes a pitch. Just inside, and now it is filled up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Three. Got him looking. Good job at damage control right there. Three run shot for the Jays this inning. It's now a 6 nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Put your hands up. It's a new sheriff in town. Everybody get up, get down it. As we go to the top of the fourth, now the number two hitter, Alex Verdugo. Alex Verdugo. The wind of the pitch. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, nope. go after hitters and get quick outs. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters even if you give up a solo shot. And now the lefty. That one pushed to the left and foul. to center and a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. The first base hit, number two. Dominant Justin. performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Man at first. So stepping in for Boston, Justin Turner. That missed inside, and it's one to know. Just cool, missed. Next one off the plate inside, and that's ball three. Now fly ball to right center. Kiermaier makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now batting, third baseman, Rafael Devers. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. Devers, the baby-faced assassin. Rafael Devers, part of that 2018 team that won it all. But over the past couple of years, he has really turned into one of the top hitters, certainly one of the top left-handed hitters in the American League. And that's a base hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Here's the center fielder, Adam Duvall. And that one is lifted in the air. Kiermaier on the move. Makes the grab, tracks it down after the long run. And there's two away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. 0 for 1 so far. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Verdugo over at second. Devers at first, two out of the inning. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Chapman makes the grab, and that's the inning. No runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Blue Jays six and the Red Sox nothing.
Back now in Toronto, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Kevin Kiermeyer. Kiermeyer. The right-hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Blue Jays really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They were obviously able to run the starter out of the game in the third, so they've set the table for a win, and now I'm sure they're thinking it's time to feast. That's a ball. Next offering misses, and that's ball one. So if they're looking to feast, are you saying they've already got a plate but are looking to go back for seconds? <laughs> yeah, I'd say something like that. Late with the swing there. Next one just misses. The count now two and two. Right-handed reliever, and that just misses. Lifted in the air, right center field. Stretches out and hauls it in. Now batting, right field, score. to the top of the lineup and the batter is George Springer. First pitch and he just misses. All one, no strike. And here it comes. Smoked in the left, base hit. Everything came together perfectly Not for him right there. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Runner on at first with one gone. Bobichet, the next to hit, one for two. Rolled to short, possible two ball. Hernandez to second, double play. And that'll do it for the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Blue Jays six and the Red Sox nothing. I'm announcing it. I'm always gonna get it, I'm always gonna get it. Even if you sit back denouncing it. But I come hang now with a vehicle. Right through dirty, everybody sees you. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's the shortstop at the play. Enrique Hernandez. Hernandez. Kikuchi back to work. Hey. Pitches in there. Strike one. You know, these Red Sox need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. The 0-2. That one ran inside, almost got him. One, two now. Slow ground ball to the right side. He takes it on his own. One away here in the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Christian Arroyo up next for the Red Sox. Doubled his first time up. Ah. And there's the strike. Ah. They say it went. No ball, two strikes. Here's the 0-2. Oh. 
Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Well, he found himself behind in the count Never right had. there, but he didn't we give in. It. He got that front Game foot over. down, and pitch Game recognition over. was on point. Pretty impressive for an 0-2 count. Man at first with one gone. Caleb Hamilton up next for the Red Sox. He's 0 for 1. And strike one to the catcher. That's in there, and it's 0-2. Two. two strikes to a guy who's already 0-1 with the punch out, the only guy in the lineup with that strikeout, but you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. The next offering misses. Now 1-2. and two. His understanding of the strike zone, very impressive. That was a very close 0-2 fastball. I just don't know how you take that. Next no, offering down. is down low. And it's two and two. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. This one high in the air to left center. Kiermaier moving under it. He's got it. That's out number two. The batter, the designated hitter, Rob Ref Snyder. Rob Ref Snyder up next for the Red Sox. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. Out into left center for a line drive base hit. Throw into third. In there safely. All over that one right there. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise he put a great swing on it. Here's Alex Verdugo. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Left hand batter waits. Ground ball up the middle. They get the force. Out number three. A couple of hits in the inning, but they can't get him home. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Blue Jays six and the Red Sox nothing. Back here at Rogers Center, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now for the Jays, Brandon Bell. And he deals. And there's a strike. Well, these Jays putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. Arroyo whips it to first. And that's the first out at the bottom of the fifth. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Yeah, the first pitch misses in the dirt. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., he's made that proud so far in his career. Multiple all-star appearances. A guy who was born in Montreal way back when, 1999, when his dad was playing for the Expos. Yeah, and so much violence with that swing. Exit velocity is charged and very fun to watch. More plate discipline than dad. Next offering upstairs. See, how about this, though? A little more than 400 games into his career, Vlad Jr. had the exact homer total and OBP as his dad. There's a strike. Fouls one away and now three and two. And a pitch. 
Out towards right center. That's well struck. Way back there. And that one is gone. He'll circle the bases, his 13th home run of the season, and they tack on to their lead. It's 7-0. there and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run the slight opposite field into the gap man making it look easy that's for sure now it's Matt Chapman he's already homered in this game in there and it's 0-1 Chapman gets a piece there. Sets him down looking. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. No, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Two outs, base is empty. Dalton Varsho now at the plate. Now this is in the air down the line. That's down. One hops off the wall. And into second easily with a two-out double. In scoring position with two away. So up next for Toronto, Danny Jansen. Yeah. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Two outs. Pitch misses, one ball, one strike. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Next one misses, and a count two and one. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next Thank pitch you. misses, and now it's three and two. Rip to short. Hernandez over to first in time. That's the inning. Toronto picks up one on this homer. It's now 7 nothing. Back after this on the show. Top of the sixth inning. And the batter now, Justin Turner. Number two. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. And out number one on the grab. Yikes, that ball was scorched, an absolute missile, and it almost becomes self-defense as the fielder when one of those things comes screaming towards you. Watch your lips. Chris, you ready for a nugget? Ready. Rafael Devers homered in three straight games against the Yankees before he turned 21. The only other player to do that, Babe Ruth. You won. And there's a foul ball. Yeah. 
Kicks and deals. Lined into left center, base hit. Now batting, the center fielder, Adam. Adam Duvall up next for the Red Sox. Duvall struggling on the road this season. Better results at home. Duvall goes six foot one, 34 year old vet, and he's a former National League Gold Glover. Devers leads off first with one away. And fouled off. At the belt and fires. Ball two. That one catches the corner for a strike. And it's filled up. And a pop up right side, foul territory. He's there, he's got it. And there are two outs. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. Yoshida in the box again, takes the strike. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Kicks and fires. And ball Wait, one. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. He's painting the corners, working on the edges and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. Here's a one-to-one. -one. Foul ball. And a ball and two strikes. Fly ball to right. Springer drifts towards it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll do it. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. Blue Jays seven, and the Red Sox nothing. Well, we go bottom six. Leading and now for the Jays, Kevin Biggio. And a pitch. Ball. That misses Damn. the zone. Ball one. That hey. catches the corner. Swings through that one, one for strike two. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. The pitch. The punch out there, and that's the first out. Now back. Here's Kevin Kiermaier. Pretty amazing going Kiermaier. way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. Off 
the plate. Oh, Ball down. one. Just nope. off the Good inside try, edge. The two on. Oh, that's out. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And that's a two-bagger. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. So the batting order turns over. George Springer will hit next. One for three. Ripped into right center. Base hit. Kiermaier around third. He will score. It's 8 nothing. First pitch swing in. Went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Bo Bichette gets a chance to hit. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game, looking at the pitching matchup, where you expected offense Ball to one. score and not as lopsided as this. Um, but, yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. Springer, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Ford picks Thank over, and Springer's in there safely. The 1-0. And a strike in there. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. One and two here. That's this guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. 3-2 now. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. On the ground, two ball. Over to Kike. On to first, double play. And that's the inning. So it's one run, two hits, no errors, and nobody left on. We're through six full. It's the Blue Jays eight and the Red Sox nothing. And welcome back. Now it's the shortstop, Enrique Hernandez. Kike. Hernandez. The why to kick the pitch. Bounced out to short. Fires over to Guerrero. And a quick out number one. Now batting. The second baseman. Christian Arroyo. Here's the second baseman. Christian Arroyo. Ah. 
Edge of the zone, call the strike, and it's 0 and 1. The pitch. Now nope, one and one. one. And there's a ball. That ball misses three. the zone. Three and one now. Three a rare three one ball three. count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. The three one. And a foul ball. Rips that one center field. Kiermaier pulls it in on the run. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Hamilton ball stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Line drive, base hit. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. And now the DH, Rob Ref Snyder. And the first offering is not close. The pitch and a foul ball. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Got him. Third out, and that ends the frame. This one pretty well decided at this point. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Blue Jays eight, and the Red Sox nothing. Bottom of the seventh, and now to the plate. Here's the Toronto DH, Brandon Bell. And a pitch. And there's a fly ball deep right field. Gone! He rockets one to right. Home run number five on the season. It's 9 nothing. fastball you have to live on the edges and hit your spots if you don't you'll get hit hard really good swing there patient waited for it it was like BP all over again Nick Pavetta comes on now he's into the game but the base is empty Now, here is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Ball. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Swing and a miss, strike Anyone? one. The Red Sox with some bullpen action. Brennan Bernardino appears to be getting loose.
Ball to strike. The pitch. Bounce to third. And that's a fair ball. Clearly seeing the ball very now well on this one. They pretty much split the zone down Matt the middle, and those are the ones Chapman. where you got to make them pay. Here's Matt Chapman. He's already homered here in this one. That's First offering goal. misses the mark. Counts 1-0. and oh. Guerrero aboard here at first with nobody out. Ball. And now two and nothing. There Chapman tries to hold up, appeal to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. The two one. Out front, rip foul. Two two down. Aye. Got him looking. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Boog, I wouldn't know personally unless you're going to consider my little league exploits, but it's got to feel good to break off a curveball like that and completely lock a hitter up, especially on the front door. Listen, I've been on the receiving side of that. It's not a good feeling, but that's really good pitching right there. And here is Dalton Varsho. Ripped to right center, and that one will leave the park. Out of here. An absolutely majestic shot. His second home run of the game, and they add on. It's 11-0. Zingy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he has really seen the ball well in this one. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Danny Jansen next up for the Blue Jays. And that's in there for strike one. All ones that count. Still only one out here in the inning. 0-2 oh, as he waves at that one. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. And the 0-2. Just Ball, misses with that one. one. That's off the mark, and the count is two and two. Sometimes you got to fight to get back into an at bat. Take some tough pitches, even out the count. Next offering is foul back. Two two on the way. That's down and in. The pitch. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Up Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Reason. Very gritty. Kevin Biggio getting ready to hit. There's a swing and a drive. And that one hops the wall. Jansen around third. He'll score easily, and they extend their lead. Well done, drives in the run. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything, really good balance, nice extension, and he met it out front for the line drive knock.
Justin Garza on a pitch here. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. Number 63. One out, runner at second. Now here is Kevin Kiermeyer. Outfield playing pretty shallow. Here's a strike. One out and a runner at second. And that should be extra bases. Here comes Biggio around third. He scores, and the lead continues to grow. It's a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hater deals. And that skips in the dirt. And the pitch. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Runners on the corners with one gone. And the batter will be the shortstop. Bo Bichette. Clips the outside corner. 0-1. Riding to the plate. That one ripped. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. In comes the runner from third. It's 14-0. Safe at second. Brandon Bell next up for the Blue Jays. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one no strike. Springer, the runner at third. Bichette at second with one away. Next right. offering upstairs. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. 2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. That's outside. That misses off the outside edge. And that'll Whoa. load the bases. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been now part of his career since day one. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch Whoa, just misses. One out, base is full. To the right side, base hit, and a run comes in. The throw to third. Pulls into third safely as they score a pair on the play. The boys the back with the 
He was definitely late on that pitch, but he didn't get beat. He got the bat on plane and just kept his hands tight to shoot it down the first baseline for the knock. Joe Jakes takes over on the mound. And he's had three days off since he pitched last, so expect him to be totally rested. I'm sure he's itching for this opportunity right now. And here is Matt Chapman. Well, and that's a little bit high, and it's one to know. First and third, one down. That's inside. Now 2 and 0. Oh. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. And here it comes. That's ball three. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. And next for Toronto, Dalton Varsha. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone, stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. First Whoa, offering, and it just misses. Base is loaded, one away. Foul ball there. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. Line drive, base hit, and a run in to score. Runner at third, puts on the brakes. Base is still loaded, and still only one away. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep, so pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. And now the catcher comes up to him, Danny Jansen. That one's in there, 0 1. And now the lefty swings and sends a rocket to right. Verdugo settles under it and makes the catch. Runner tags from third, and now the runner will score from third in the wild throw. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Kevin Biggio next up for the Blue Jays. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Good eye right there. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Oh, Just off the outside edge, three and oh. Yeah. And that one is in for a strike. Two on, two outs. Swing and a ball popped up. And a base hit knocks in a run. 
Well, those kind of lucky soft hits will always make you smile. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. So two on with two away. Now the batter now, Kevin Kiermeyer. That one pulled foul. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Arroyo gets it to first. That one ends the onslaught and the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. Eighth inning coming up. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at the ballpark at the play. Alex Verdugo. Kikuchi back to work. Line drive and foul ball. And now it's even up. Movement in the Blue Jays bullpen. Eric Swanson up and throwing. Meza, the power lefty, up as well. The wind of the pitch. Ball left outside. That's in there. That is strike two. Kikuchi still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent, really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. And that eats him off. Well, he's been working out of the stretch just about the entire game, Boob. A lot of base runners on against him, and he's just done a really nice job of scattering the hits, not giving up any runs. But at some point, your luck usually runs out. Justin Turner now. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Kicks and deals. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He'll touch them all. His 14th of the year. It's 19 to 2. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Here comes the manager out of the Blue Jays' dugout, and he will make a move to the pen. You say Kikuchi, done for the day. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. They turn things over to the southpaw, Tim Meza. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. Here's Rafael Devers. There's a strike, 95 of that one. Ball one. Ball one there. I got one ball, one strike.
And he deals. There's a strike. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If he can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Next offering is in the dirt. Caught him looking for the K. Now that is the center. So up next, Adam Duvall. Duvall. That one rip, but foul. The next oh. pitch misses, and that's ball one. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Chapman settles under this one. Drops into the glove, and there's two away. And now here is Masataka Yoshida. It's amazing. We get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone. And he gets to fly beneath the radar with the other more recognizable names oh, in this lineup. And he'll one. That's out. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. That ball was drilled, 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. And now the shortstop, Enrique Hernandez. There's a strike. Oh, one down. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Yoshida around second, headed for third. The run scores all the way from first, and they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. Picks himself up in RBI. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bad path to the ball, and caught it out front, and he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. And stepping in for Boston, Christian Arroyo. First offering misses badly for ball one. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Hernandez stands at second with two gone. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Now a long throw home. Tag safe at home. And they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. Comes through with the RBI. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now it's the catcher for the Red Sox, Caleb Hamilton. And first offering is fouled off.
at the belt and fires. Ball. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire didn't give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. That one is gone. He sends a rocket to left. His first homer of the year, and they cut into the lead. It's 19 to 6. Well, not every home run is a majestic blast off the bat, and even though he hit it pretty well, it was anything but a sure thing to get out. But today, the conditions were right. He got just enough of it, and I think the backspin really helped that thing carry. New pitcher now for the Jays, Eric Swanson. He last pitched two days ago. So the Red Sox lineup turns over, and next is the designated hitter, Rob Ref Snyder. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. Ball back outside. Pitch misses outside. Now two balls and a strike. Just missed. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. In the air, right side of the infield. Guerrero makes the play and it's out number three. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. Last half of the eighth coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's George Springer to start it off. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That misses the zone. Ball one. And that one is inside. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. The 2 1. That one out to right. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. And he's got to double his fourth hit. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. So up next for Toronto, Bo First pitch, and he just misses. Runner leads away at second. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. That misses, and it's two and one. In the air, out to center, Duvall under it. Makes the catch. Runner tags it second. He's in there. So now the DH spot, Brandon Bell. And 
They say you win. All ones the count. Springer stands at third with one gone of the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. The one two. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Well, one of the things that hitters will do is they'll look for that red dot on the baseball as it's coming in to let them know what the pitch is. And if they see the red dot, it's typically a slider. But when a guy's got a really tight one with high spin rates, very difficult to determine. And that's probably why we saw a swing and miss right there. Nope. Just a ball nasty one. pitch. Vladdy in the box here nope. lets that one go for a ball. That's in for a strike. Base hit and a run into score. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Two outs, runner at first. And here is Matt Chapman. And that clips the inside corner. Here comes a pinch. That's ripped. Base hit. Guerrero. Ground second on his way to third. And he'll make it to second base with two gone. New arm out of the bullpen. Brennan Bernardino. He's having a ton of success facing left-handed hitters this season. So this seems like a smart move to turn to him with a lefty at the plate. So two down, here's the left fielder, Dalton Varsho. Check swing didn't go. One and oh. Good eye right there. That one's in there, and it's two and one. The other way. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that will end the inning. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Ninth inning coming up. The Jays are out in front, 20 to six. Back now in Toronto, and now the right fielder, Alex Verdugo. The pitch. And that one wrapped foul. Swanson, a very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against him. He wins every pitch, and for a hitter, Sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. Activity in the bullpen. Mitch White, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Swung on, belted. And that one hops the wall. The throw into second. Not going to get him. He's in there. 
Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. He really let that ball travel on the outside part of the plate, but that's a great example that you can still drive the baseball that's away. Rip that one down the line for the double. Turner climbs in on that right side. That misses. And that is ball one. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control command that day, you can pretty much forget about it. No outs, runner on second. That That's misses, balls, two balls, no strikes. Balls, As a hitter, no there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and you're hoping that you know somehow, some way, whether it's a hit by pitch, a walk, something bad happens because outside of that, his stuff is just too good to fail. That's Next offering three. misses, and it's 3-0. And, oh. and he's got deception in his delivery, and it's not that he's trying to deceive the hitters. He just has this natural flow nope, that makes four. it hard for hitters to pick the ball up. It gets on them a little bit quicker than they anticipate, now even though they know what the velocity numbers are. That just came apart right yeah. there. Four-pitch walk, and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. And that one fouled off. Not one close one. with that one, and it's one and one. Right hander kicks deals. Two balls. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. Two and two. No outs. Runners at first and second. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Right-handed reliever. Gets a piece and stays alive. And now it's three and two. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And one away. Well, that split caught a lot of the zone. Definitely a hittable pitch, but coming off the fastball the pitch before, it's kind of tough to recognize. You notice there's something different about it. He threw it with the same arm action, same release point, and he left it up. But the movement and the change of speeds, that was enough to do the job. Duvall in now. Takes ball one off the plate. One and oh. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Kiermaier moving under it. He makes the grab. And there are two down. Now the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. And a pitch. That's a ball. One ball, one strike. There's a 1-1. One, one. And misses inside. And now one strike away. Two two now. In the air, center field. Kiermaier moving under it. And he's got it, ball game. And the Blue Jays take this one in a blowout.
Start of the new month is a great chance to hit the reset button. Whether you're coming in hot or cold, getting that win today is a great feeling to continue through the rest of the month. So this one got a little out of hand for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long.